This is absolute kryptonite for cafes. One tip I've got for you as a cafe owner is to never get between a rabbit coffee drinker and their morning coffee. Sound confusing, but so many places have barriers to the customer getting their coffee they're not even aware of. If I've got a cafe and I make it more difficult, unknowingly or knowingly, for that coffee drinker to get their morning brew, I'm in serious trouble. What on earth are you talking about, Hamish? Or quite simply, the wait time, the service quality, the price, they're all barriers to getting a coffee. And the customer will weigh up in their mind, do I have enough time on my way to work or on my lunch break to get that drink? And if the answer is no, they'll find a competitor nearby, maybe not on that day, but certainly in the future. Because the fact is, not many customers are willing to wait it out, figure out your sales process or your ordering process and take the time to make that order. They'll simply go for the quickest, shortest and cheapest option so that they can get what they want. Don't you wonder why drive through coffees from Zarafas, McDonald's or Hungry Jack's are so successful? So the question we've got to ask ourselves is how can we speed this process up whilst giving excellent customer service? I know what you're thinking, put a couple of signs up at the door. Look, we are bombarded by signed messaging all day long in our cars as we're walking along the streets. It's probably not going to make an impact. But what really works is having a real person at the front door greeting a new arrival, directing them in what to do. And not in that tarmac air traffic control kind of way, but in a friendly, warm, pleasant kind of way. Immediately, the first barrier, which is, what do I do when I get here? The sales and ordering process is broken down by that warmth. They're drawn in by the human connection, the ability to speed up their process, get what they want, and dismissing the uncertainty that they will have when they first arrive. Here's a metric that you should be looking for. Most people are not willing to wait more than 10 minutes to get their coffee. A typical scenario that you'll find in a lot of cafes is you order at the counter or you take a seat and wait to be served or you take a seat and you order at the table through the online app. By letting the customer know your process in-house or the options, it gives them the choice to make this thing happen for them as quickly as possible, which means cha-ching, dollars in your bank as fast as possible. Now that's a great thing, right? Not to mention the effort factor. Who at seven o'clock in the morning wants to put massive amounts of brain energy into trying to figure out how to get their coffee? If you direct them, you go, hey, what are you up to this morning? Oh, I love a coffee, thank you. Wow, that's perfect. Well, if you please go up to the counter, you can make your order. Or if you please take a seat, we'll be there in a flash to go and take your order. Now, there are other advantages such as being able to upsell at the table for a breakfast or even a takeaway item that just aren't there if you let them figure it out. The uncertainty and the frustration that comes with not knowing how to place an order from the customer's perspective demotivates them to make future purchases and to get the most out of their experience for your venue. So two things by just doing that one thing which is a meet and greet. They save time, the uncertainty goes away which undoubtedly means a better customer experience and less frustration overall. They're gonna feel important and that was on you. Pretty awesome. So if we've got 10 minutes from the time that they come in, place an order and they get out, if they're a takeaway order, that means you've got less than five minutes to get their order taken. Now, if you've got a long queue, you might want an alternative way to get their order, to make them feel important, to give an upsell, to a value add some kind of sample from the kitchen, from the cabinet. Today's daily brownie special, slice of the day. Any form of barrier breaking tech that you can implement to make them feel important. And yes, when they feel important, they're coming back. Now in the cafe world, it's busy, it's fast paced, people don't have a lot of time and we've got to take that into account. By doing so, you get them in a great frame of mind to not just buy a coffee, but to potentially buy food as well. That means more revenue for you, more dollars to reinvest in your marketing, in your staff, in your infrastructure. Wow, your business is starting to grow. 
Simultaneously, for those who are looking for a dining experience, you're following the true and tried methods of hospitality by meeting them at the door, directing them to their table, making it feel like an authentic dining experience. This is lost in the modern cafe world. It's somewhat cold, ambiguous, customers are left to their own devices. That means margins are dropping, revenue is dropping, if you don't believe me, do your maths, see what you can do from a promotion like this and compare. You'll be pleasantly surprised when your average spend jumps purely because you implemented the main thing that we do here in hospitality, which is be hospitable. You're breaking down those barriers to making a sale, not just making a sale, but making a customer for life. I've got to emphasize this, leaving the customers to fumble through the sales process leads to absolute frustration, dissatisfaction, and not a lot in the way of repeat customer. Dissatisfied customers are kryptonite to cafes because it's a kind of frugal purchase. They can get a coffee here, as well as the other 10 coffee shops in like a two kilometer radius. They're not too fussed on setting themselves up day in, day out for that fumbled, confusing process. They don't want to wait. They don't want to try and figure out what to do. They just want their coffee. Not only that, cafe customers can be quite fussy and leave those ever so bad reviews on things like Yelp or TripAdvisor. Now, they do say any publicity is good publicity, I'm not so sure that bad reviews on these pages are going to help your business. Cut out that step. Get great service to them. They'll leave a good review and you can even ask them to do them. You can say, hey, how did you find your experience today? This is on the way out. And they can give you an honest review to your face. And you can say, wow, I'm really pleased that you like that. If you feel inclined to do so, please go onto our website or our TripAdvisor and leave us a little review just to let other people know what they're missing out on. Haha, -ha, genius, right? I know. So why do so many people leave this out? It could be a stress thing. It could be a laziness thing. It could be they didn't know thing. But either way, now you've got the insights as to what you can do to bring more service into your process to bring out the ambiguity and put in the certainty for the customer and that equals dollars in your bank. Not to mention the level of satisfaction for you as an owner and for your workers. They're doing a great job, they're getting the rewards and that's what we're here to do. Now, if you don't believe me, that's totally cool. I'd still invite you to try it out for yourself. However, if there's one thing I could point you to, don't do this and then see the regular faces no longer become regular and the amount of people coming through starting to dwindle. Is that a risk you're really willing to take?